channel for a midweek video. So I wanted to um, I wanted to kind of touch on this uh, thing that Jack at the Virtual Broom Room started, which is uh, the why do we wet shave? So I'll give you my thoughts on why I wet shave personally. And we'll do that as we just get cracking along, as we always do. So um, cream for today is going to be Elvado Maya Vanilla Almond. Very, very nice scent. It is uh, very reminiscent reminiscent of uh, marzipan. So it's uh, like just straight up cherry and almond. Uh, very, very nice. So we'll just get right into it. It is a cream. So what I will do is uh, scoop out about that much. About an almond sized, a healthy almond sized amount of cream. That is going to be more than sufficient. And I will put that back in the leaning pile of soaps. And I'm just gonna massage it into my hands, make it all nice and messy. And I'm just gonna massage it into the, right into my beard. Almost like a pre-shave. That's what I'm gonna do. Since I face lather, this is how I like to roll with the cream. And then I'll just take the brush to it. Now, if you were a bowl latherer, you could just um, smear this into your bowl and then bowl lather, or you could just uh, drop it into the, or smear it into the tips of your brush and bowl lather. Or if you don't want to do this and you face lather, you could also smear it into the tips of your brush and then just start face lathering. Uh, whichever, whichever way you prefer to go about doing it. I like doing it this way because, like I said, I get to massage it, massage it right into the beard hairs. And, uh, yeah, it feels good. So the brush for today, should I get all the freaking water out of it, because it holds a ton of water, is my Coyote Cuts Latherizer. And I call it the Latherizer because it just turns everything into a voluminous lather. Big old 30 millimeter synthetic knot. Just dip the tips. A little bit just to get a bit of moisture into them and away we go just right into the splay because it is a cream so hope everybody's having a great week so far mine's going pretty good going pretty good indeed and uh, I've been doing some thinking I'm doing some thinking on this topic of why we wet shave and I guess to start for me, unlike many others, uh, I didn't like shaving with cartridge razors. I, I, I didn't enjoy it at all, um, uh, especially back when I was on the road as a trucker. I just didn't really have the time. I didn't make the time because I just didn't enjoy the act of shaving um, to begin with. So why would I make the time to do it? Um, when I'm on the road and time sometimes is at a premium, you know, you're working hard, working big long days driving and uh, the last thing you feel like doing is having a shave when you could be shoveling food into your face and then getting a precious few hours of sleep. Uh, so I just didn't bother doing it and, um, and then I would get home and take out the old can of uh, Gillette Foamy. Which I still like the scent of though, don't get me wrong. I got the I got the lime stuff. It was very, very nice smelling. But uh, that was where the enjoyment ended. Because once you grab that cartridge razor and start hacking away seven days worth of growth, the cartridge razor, and not knowing how to shave in the sense that we know how to shave now, you know, with beard growth and all that, I would just you know, go one direction only with the old cartridge razor, which was just straight north to south. Just do that a couple times and, and that was it. And it was horrible. Tuggy and pulley and just not enjoyable in any way, shape or form. So I started researching about six years ago, um, a better way to shave. After seeing the ad for the Micro Touch 1, everybody remembers, Pawn Stars did, 
uh, Rick from Pawn Stars, and that's that's where it started. And then did a bit more research, and then ended up uh, getting a safety razor for my birthday in that year. Uh, that was six years ago, and I've never looked back. So, so that's the first, the first um, reason of why I started wet shaving was. It was more about the quality of shaves. I, you know, I also told myself that I'm going to save money doing it this way. And that was quickly, quickly proven wrong once you start getting into the forums and a couple of groups and then you start buying everything you see. So, so mostly it was about the, the good shaves. We'll, we'll go with that. You see this lather is coming together quite nicely. I'm probably actually going to roll with that because I'm just using a DE today. A very nice lather. Creams. You know, creams uh, whip up pretty quick. And um, as far as creams go, this is a high quality cream. This isn't, you know, like an off the shelf commercial product. This is an artisanal product. So it is a very nice cream. Um, so yeah. So, so that was really what got me into it. And then, and then it just, it, it really blossomed from there. And the razor for today, I'm going with the Curve. We're going to have to enunciate that Curve. The Curve. Christopher Bradley, stainless. Um, absolutely love this razor. Let's get a look at that knurling if you can. Try and hold it, drop it. This is a big, heavy sum bitch. Um, four inch handle. It's 114 grams. You've got a third use Voscod C plate with uh, 0.85 millimeters uh, blade gap with uh, 0.09 millimeters of positive blade exposure. So away we go. First pass. Um, so yeah. So it, then it really developed into the, the sense of community. Oh, that's nice and slick. Uh, it really developed into the sense of community and the sense of belonging to something. Which I would hazard a guess most of us get that sense of belonging out of being in the wet shaving community. It's a very, it's a very welcoming community. It's also a very helpful community where everybody wants to see everybody do well and uh, you know learn the facets of wet shaving learn how to get those good shaves you know the irritation free shaves and all that good stuff and, and so really that's where it's at and then the support has been phenomenal so uh, I, I know a lot of you guys know my story, but I've got a few, quite a few new subscribers here in the last little bit, and it's not something I've really touched on much with the newer, the newer people to the channel, so I will touch on it briefly. So, so two years ago, I uh, suffered a heart attack, and... You know, as far as heart attacks go, it really wasn't no big thing. I mean, it was, you know, it was a heart attack, but it wasn't, it wasn't a super serious one. I don't think I was really in any, uh, any jeopardy of dying from it or anything, but it, it had some, it had some negative, very negative side effects. So I've also been dealing with uh, chronic kidney disease for many, many years. And that's something I don't really talk about much because um, the other major problem is always what crops up. Uh, pass number two. Um, but I've been dealing with chronic kidney disease and that heart attack really set things into kind of a downward spiral as far as that goes. So, so as it stands today, as I do this video, I only have 20% kidney function. And I've had 20% for a while, but it's still not good. <laughs> like I don't physically, I don't feel good. Um, I, I really don't. 
So I wake up every day feeling crummy and lethargic and just, and just bleh, right? So the wet shaving and being part of the community really lifts my spirits. Because you guys are the people, you know, besides my immediate family, that I interact with the most. And interacting with everybody in the community is what takes my mind off of, you know, all the crap that's going on, right? If I'm, if I'm watching, uh, if I'm watching YouTube, you know, the guys that I follow on YouTube, which, which are a lot, or in the groups, you know, doing admin stuff. I'm an, an admin in a couple groups and a moderator in another. Or, you know, just interacting in the comment sections. That takes my mind off of everything that's going on, you know, elsewhere. Or anything to do with me. Now, doing the YouTube thing is something I really, really, really enjoy. And my goal has always been to, uh, to grow this channel. And to keep this channel going at all costs. Um, I did go through my back catalog and this shave is going wonderfully well. Like, you know, one of the biggest parts of, you know, what shaving means to me is you can use this kick-ass gear and just crack out a great shave with really out even thinking about it. And that's phenomenal. Uh, that's one of the things I love as well. But anyway, um, I was going through my back catalog and I don't really watch my old videos, especially right around the time I started losing my eyesight. So it's not really something I want to, to think about, even though I have to. But I've pretty much managed to keep the channel moving forward and continuing on. Oh, it's got some great residual slickness too. Uh, without really much of a gap in production. And uh, that's all because of you guys, uh, because of the support from the community. So if it wasn't for that community support and all that camaraderie, to be quite blunt, I would have just said, fuck it. This isn't worth it. It's not worth my time. It's not worth the stress. Because I will be honest, sometimes wet shaving is, it's stressful. You know, when you can't really see what you're doing that well, it, it, it does become stressful and it gets frustrating, you know, because I've mentioned this to people in private messages. I don't know if really ever, ever publicly, publicly said it, but it's, it's really weird how my, how my eye works. So if I'm looking at my phone screen, say if I'm watching, I'm going to pick on the chief, hopefully Corey. You're watching this video. I really hope you are. I'm a big fan of Corey. Um, he's got a great channel. I'm gonna do a full full set of cleanups here. Um, big fan of Corey. Yeah, his channel is growing exponentially. He's a great guy, super positive, and I and I love watching his videos. So if I'm watching Corey, and he's got that beautiful, gigantic fucking meat cleaver of a Max Sprecher. If I'm watching my phone, it's pretty much crystal clear. Even with a cataract, videos are pretty clear for the most part. And and that gets me pumped, you know. I want to go I want to go right to the den and have a shave. But when I'm in the shave, what my eye sees in the mirror is nothing like what I see in the videos. Um, it's not clear, it's super dim, it's super blurry, it's super out of focus, and it's all one-dimensional. So that's that's the frustrating part of the white shaving for me, is watching, watching all these killer shaves, looking at all these nice products. Even the nice products that I own, like this razor I'm using, I can just barely make out the knurling pattern on the razor with my naked eye. Now if I uh, take a picture of it and zoom in on it, I can see it crystal clear, but trying to see it with my naked eye, uh, not so much. So I find that frustrating. 
and I find it stressful. But it's because of you guys that I, uh, I comment with and interact with on a daily basis that just makes me swallow that frustration. And, uh, you know, just get on with it and just do it. So thank you for that because you guys are the ones that really give me the push to just continue uh, doing this so super appreciative of that and that and that to me is probably the single most important thing about wet shaving at the end of the day the products are the products and I have some great ones and some great relationships with some great artisans but take away the artisanal products or that aspect of it and we're still all just friends because because of um, you know the common bond that we have and that's that's the best part so really I guess that sums it all up for me that's why I wet shave And hopefully as we continue on, I'll be able to, uh, to continue growing this channel, reach even more people, hopefully, you know, teach more people. I'm always, like, I'm always online. If you're watching one of my videos and you need help, you know, or, you know, you need some, some tips or tricks or some guidance or any advice or information, I am always online. Just reach out to me. Uh, my real name, if you don't know my real name, is Justin McIntyre. So I'm in most of the shave groups. So you can tag me or message me on Facebook. Comment below. And I'll always be around to uh, to help out. Because that's, that's a big part of it, I think, is the helping out and the giving back. So keeping it Canadian, eh? Soapy Bath Man. Italian Almond. Um, basically the same scent profile as the uh, Vanilla Almond from Elvato. And this is a great splash. It's all the shit though. It's getting really liquidy, but you know, it doesn't matter because it still works good and it still smells good. And it feels good. Uh, it's got level 2 menthol. Soapy Bath Mint offered bombs in level 1, 2, and 3 in menthol. Uh, number 2 is just enough uh, for you to feel it. A little bit of a cooling kiss. It's, yeah, it's right there. It's almost immediate. That was a great shave. So yeah, so that sums up my, uh, I think my video on why I wet shave. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. I think I, I made all the points I wanted to make. But yeah, as, as far as the community oriented, um, hobbies this is one of the best and you will find some of the best best people you can meet uh, lurking in the groups uh, and on YouTube and on Instagram and all that good stuff so so that's my shave so I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and watching I really do appreciate all the support uh, all the love all the views the comments the whole nine yards um, I do try try really hard to keep up on the comments for some reason I only get like 40% notifications of comments so I, I do go back to the video um, for about a week after I post it just to lurk and make sure there's no comments that I missed so um, if it takes me a bit to get back to that's why um, I think all the content creators are probably having the same problem right now and um, yeah YouTube you need to fix your shit so anyway that's it um, until the weekend, uh, the next video coming up will be the new member tag video. I did get some new stuff in the den and uh, looking forward to um, looking forward to uh, showing that off on camera. So until next time my friends, take care of one another, be safe, and as always have a great day and even better shave. See ya.